today I started, this is really not a recipe, but I just wanted to show you. Today I started just a small dough, it's a very small dough. Uh, I added some salt, I added some water, just where I get a very soft dough. And I'm going to do the old school way of making bread. So this bread has no yeast whatsoever. It is going to sit outside like as if I would be making sourdough starter. Uh, but rather than more liquid form, I am making the bread itself. So this has no yeast whatsoever. So we're going to see how this works and how many days it takes for it to actually start rising. Just with natural yeast that's around my kitchen, my hands, my counter. And I'll be excited to play around and experiment with this. So this is going to be exciting. So I have made my dough. And like I said water salt and flour I am going to put there we go I could have even put a little bit of vital wheat gluten in there but I didn't because I'm just gonna make this a test and I'm just gonna grease my bowl and I'm gonna let it sit in here and see how many days it takes for it to rise so I'm gonna cover it I'm gonna put uh, something maybe a plastic bag this way it doesn't dry up but I will put like a little cloth on top so it doesn't collect too much moisture so my cloth I'm gonna take a plastic bag and then I'm gonna put this aside and I'm gonna check it I guess tomorrow because this is not gonna rise today for sure but I will check tomorrow to see how big and if it went double the size so we'll see you the day after with this one now okay I'm also getting ready to make more bread because, you know, this way we don't have to go out and buy it. And at least we know what's in our bread. I just fed my sourdough again this morning. So I'm waiting for it to do its magic. And then I'm going to use it once it's nice and bubbly. I'm just going to push this aside. Okay. Now I'm going to show you something that my husband enjoys. Because he ate it all. You know, if you like something, uh, you better go take a nibble because if you like something, you're not going to have much for yourself. Okay, that should be good. Okay, so here we go. I made my milk. I make delicious walnut milk, and it's very easy. When I make my wal walnut milk, I soak my walnuts overnight, and what happens is all the tannins from the walnuts come out of the uh, the walnuts and it makes a less bitter milk so you get a really nice tasting milk I'll show you what it looks like perfect no different than looking at a bottle of milk except no animals were hurt for this one okay so now we're left over with all this pulp and this is what I do not to waste. Now you could throw this in a bread if you want. Uh, you could throw it in other recipes. But I created a light, nice little, almost like a pate. Kind of tastes like tuna actually. I'm just going to put it in here. Trying to get as much as I can. I think I got all of it. Yeah. And I love using these cotton bags because you really don't have to, there's no need to pass the milk more than once. Sometimes if you're doing some kind of a nut milk, uh, it gets very gritty, the milk, if you don't uh, have a good bag. But because this is cotton, it holds everything in and you're left with just the pulp and you have beautiful fresh milk to have for your coffee, your teas, your matcha like my daughter had, or just to enjoy as a glass of milk. So now I'm going to show you what I do to this. Okay, now everybody that doesn't have oils in their diet, don't come at me telling me it's unhealthy. We still have some oil in our diet. We're going to put a little bit of olive oil. This is my sour cream. Oop. And this is how we get moisture back into the pulp because we basically removed all the all the liquids out of the uh, the nuts and we're left with just the pulp right 
So we need to put something back in. And I'm using my delicious sour cream. It's all at the top, the bottom. Yeah, sorry for that, which reminds me I gotta make more. Okay. Sorry for the nasty sound, but it is what it is. Okay. And to that, we're gonna cut up some red onion. Got me a new toy. Yes, it's pink. It's a more it's a mora knife. And if you don't watch out, you're even gonna cut off a finger. Uh, okay, so let me just take off that ugly skin. And onion, it really depends on how much you like. There we go. We're going to start with this much, and then if we need, we'll put more. Oh, yes, we need some salt. We're going to put salt to taste, right, guys? I'm going to put some black pepper. I'm going to put our onion. Look at this knife. I just have to press down. Look at this. I'm not cutting. I'm just pushing the blade down. Like this is crazy. You don't need, I would cut. It's like, you could cut this as thin as paper. Like I could feel... When I've got my finger next to the edge, I can feel, I can feel the blade. It's like a razor blade. Like I'm not even cutting. I'm just like pressing down. I love it. I had an orange one. I don't know if you ever saw it. I had this one. This is what I use when I go hiking, camping, backpacking. And when I saw this pink one, I says, oh, well, I must have another one. And they're not expensive either. Okay. So we're going to add our onion. Remember, this is really up to how much you want to put in there. And we're going to put a little bit of spices. And we're going to mix this up. And this is going to tell me if I need to add some more sour cream or some more olive oil. Now, if you want, you could even put little bits of celery. I think I'm going to do that this time around. I'm even going to put some celery. Okay, I'm going to add some, yeah, I want to add just a little more moisture to it, so sour cream. And you have to try my sour cream, it's so easy to do also. A little extra fat. Mmm, it already tastes fantastic. Here we go. We might put a little more onion. And this year, the longer it sits, it starts getting almost like a... Oh, sorry. It almost starts looking a little like this color. Really nice. Okay. Some cilantro, nice handful. I get all these comments. I should buy you a knife. It's painful looking at you cut. 
<laughs> I keep telling them I have a P.O. box if they want to send me something. And I'm not trying to be rude. I'm trying to be funny. Okay. A little bit of cilantro. And I think I'm going to put a little bit of celery to this batch. Now, normally I don't put celery, but why not, right? Okay, I'm just going to cut them in smaller bits. Yeah. And just chop that up. The more you put in there, the more you get. And this year, you're going to let it sit. You're going to let it sit for at least couple of hours but if you wait till the day after it's even better and that's it zero waste guys we don't throw anything away you know some people don't know what to do with their pulp they try and put it in their smoothies and then they find that their smoothies are too like granular and they don't enjoy their smoothie you know if you put it in your bread or in a recipe comes out but never like the same because it makes it more of a denser bread but we don't want to waste it so I found that this way oh you can make raw crackers if you want if you eat raw like a raw bread I have to show you how I make some of my raw breads I think I have some up on YouTube there we go Check it for salt if you need extra salt. And that's all you need. And the more this sits and it just marries all the flavors, the better it gets. You can put this on a delicious piece of sourdough bread. And a sandwich for your kids. Delicious, delicious, delicious. really good it does need a little bit of salt more salt and that's it guys simple is this and it stays a long time in the fridge if your husband doesn't get to it it will stay <laughs> like I take if I'm taking or if Erica takes we just put a little bit on a piece of bread but my husband really enjoys it so when he sees it's made you probably won't get a chance to enjoy any because he probably ate it all Okay, so there you go. Now, if um, if you want, if you have any uh, cream cheese in your house, if you've made some cream cheese, uh, you can add some cream cheese to moisten this up. Uh, there's so many ways you can add. I wouldn't just add water or milk back to it because then you're not going to really get a pate. So sour cream works well. Uh, maybe even a little bit of yogurt. I haven't tried it, but I think with yogurt, it's going to be pretty good because it has that sour taste. But this definitely is very, very delicious. Mm. More onion. Very, very good. And it's great to have in the fridge. Like I said, my husband doesn't eat it. Erica and I usually... You know, have a little bit on a piece of bread just for a little snack. And if my husband sees it, well, it's done with. You'll sit there and just make one sandwich after the other. There we go. Perfect. 
Well, it really depends on you. If you don't want to use cilantro, you could use parsley. That goes good with it. Uh, if you don't want to um, put olive oil, leave the olive oil out. I don't mind having the olive oil in because we don't eat that much of it. When I say we put just a little bit on a piece of bread just to break that little hunger pain you have in your stomach. But And my husband doesn't mind olive oil at all, so he has no problem with it. But if you want to leave the olive oil out, uh, just use sour cream to rehydrate it. If you're okay, you could even put mayo in there to rehydrate it. You could even put a little bit i'm gonna do now where is my white vinegar here we go a little bit of white vinegar so there's a lot of things you can do to this recipe and it ends up tasting delicious just like a little bit of tuna on a piece of bread so there you go no waste guys Zero waste in this family. We're not going to waste food because everything is good for you. This has got loads of vitamins still, even though we drain the milk out of it. And it has a lot of fiber. We did add some extra ingredients to it. So it's really, really good. And I'm sure it has an abundance of omegas in there because the walnuts, I mean, we do milk it. But I'm sure some omega, some traces of omega is still in this dish right now so there you go how simple was that and just enjoy this on a piece of bread a little bit of sourdough bread and there's a snack food so i hope you like this little video and I'll get back to you and I'll let you know how my dough is doing. We're going to see if we can actually make this into a loaf of bread by using no starter and uh, no, no yeast whatsoever. We're just going to use natural yeast from the air. So I'm going to keep my fingers crossed for that. And I'll let you know when I check it again. I might make just a little tiny update video for you. And there you go, guys. Look at that. Delicious, delicious. So, guess what, guys? I'll see you in my next video. For more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to Connie's Rawsome Kitchen. Give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends.